people in this neighborhood, we they kind of don't know what we're doing. They just see a group of teenagers walking with papers in their hand or helping out. They're just like, oh, all right. Uh, so investigating the neighborhood framework has been kind of challenging. The businesses on Warren, I didn't really used to go to those restaurants or that bakery. And I went today and it was actually good food and their donuts. I haven't tasted it yet, but they looked good, so. It's been cool. I like it. You know, um, this is, has been a great experience for me because I feel like I got the chance to work with some really cool people and learn some things that I didn't really know about before. I learned things about the neighborhood that I didn't know about. So I feel like I'm really glad that I got the chance to do this. Um, as far as like the things we've been doing, uh, it's been cool, I guess. It's just, I wish that like um, we could have got more people involved, like more like youth because like right now it's only nine of us, but I think during the summer we'll get the chance to like have more people come in. Um, so technically what we have to do is find out what they do and if they're doing it and if they're not doing it, see how can they do it better or how can we tell the um, neighborhood about them so they can concern their complaints with them. The best part about the neighborhood framework is getting a chance to talk to um, adults and also getting a chance to hear our voice be heard. Best part is you don't see teenagers like me doing what I'm doing every day, talking to big people, well, people with a name. We have been interviewing a lot of people that's in charge of the roads, um, the community, the businesses and a lot of smaller things like the parks. Well, that's a big thing, but small. And the lights. Talking to people that act like we don't know what we're talking about or we don't know what we're doing. Basically, like, as people always say, and it's true, adults don't treat kids or teenagers like they have a bigger mind than they do. Because people think just because they're older than us, their minds develop when it's like, I can easily outsmart an adult. It's pretty much easy for me. Like, adults always try to cut me off when I know what I'm talking about because they get mad at me for that. So that's pretty much what it's been like with us interviewing these people. They try to cut it short instead of when we start picking at their ribs, they don't want to start answering. They want to start getting quiet. So we like that, even though that's the worst part. We like getting on their nerve a little bit. They nerve a little bit. <laughs> Hi, my name is LaKendra. And I am Khadija. We grew up here in a Cody Rouge in Warrendale neighborhood. Some of the young people in this neighborhood walk and go shop in neighborhood stores. People who don't drive or elderly people use nearby stores like the Laundry Mac, Dollar Store, and Grocery Stores. These stores are not perfect. They have trash all over the sidewalks and you usually see people just hanging around outside, which is not nice or safe because you never know what the people are there for or what their plan is to do. There are many creative people with good ideas that are running small business out of their homes. Catering, cleaning, childcare, little candy stores. But often they have no license and that's a problem that can't happen. We were curious if there is anyone who is working to help our neighborhood businesses. Moana Ali gave us the leads to talk to Brianna Walker. We reached out to Brianna. Brianna is a District 7 Alliance for Detroit Economy Growth Corporation, AKA DEGC, which is a citywide agency for supporting businesses. We also met Brianna Walker at Family Bakery on Warren Avenue. We sat and talked and she told us about what she did, how she do it. And she took us around and showed us the different stores that she worked with. And uh, she showed us a computer repair store, a donut shop. The owners of all those stores said it's been great working with Brianna. And the donuts at Shane's Mine and Breakery was amazing. They were, they were good, I'm sorry. <laughs> you should visit it, help the money in the community. It helps keep money in the community by visiting those stores in your community. Also, Brianna has been working with small business like these in our neighborhoods to help them with things like license fees, safety, permits, and inspections. And she is doing an amazing job. The, business, the businesses love her 
She also talks about DEGC program like Motor City Match, where they help start new businesses and vacant stores. So for the next year with Neighborhood Framework, I think as a community we should try to figure out how we can bring more support like this and even bigger ones to our businesses. Because fixing the front of the stores is nice, but sometimes they need help fixing bigger building or equipment problems inside the stores too. Talking to Brianna made me think we should figure out how to encourage people, you guys. Encourage you guys to use neighborhood businesses and not always go outside your neighborhoods to shop or eat. Because here's the problem. Our neighborhoods are not the best because of us. We are going broke because we are not giving back to our communities. So I think the ones that are helping and doing things that put into the community, but for the ones that are not, and, but if you're unable to, it's okay. But for the ones that are not and healthy, I think you guys should start. I'm saying it nicely. We also need to help young people that is trying to start a business by preparing them with the city resources and more people that have done it already. So let's help them make money off of something they love to do. And there's a table in the back so you can go and get the things we need. That is me nicely asking. Now, 